Hi everyone, I am Grace Gularan and today we will tackle about the soil cultivation. The soil cultivation, also known as tilling or soil refinement, it is the act of digging into or cutting up an existing soil bed to better prepare it for planting. You might use a, tra a tractor or a rototailer or hand tools such as um, sho shovel and soil fork. But if um, if dako mo dako ang space or dako mo ang tamnanan, you can use tractor or rototailer naman. And if such um, small path lang or gagmay lang ang space ang inyong tamnanan, you can use shovel naman or soil fork. Well, typically, farmers add um, amendments to boost the soil's nourishment when they um, cultivate it. What is um, amendments? It is the adding soil in order to improve um, its texture and fertility. fertility. Dira na nila um, i-add ito ang uh, black soil or long soil so that um, so that mas madagdagan pa ang nourishment or, or mas ma-healthy pa ang plants nga ilahang uh, itanom. Because some of the lands mong God is dry or kanang dili siya wet ang inyo hang, ang some uh, kani mga path or some lands. So magismaglisod or ma morag na ibus tendency or possibilities nga mamatay lang ang dali ang ilahang mga plants kay dili healthy and dili wala nourishment ang ilahang kuan ilahang something uh, land. But Mona nga um, the farmers added amendments so that they can add loam soil because somehow ang loam, loam soil is maka makahatag po sila og nourishment and um mas daghan og um, vitamins ang kuan loam soil kasi na man siya ay fertil, fertil, fertilizer so Organic cultivation practices um, specially aim to get the soil into healthy shape by using non-chemical, um, pesticide-free methods and by encouraging the soil's natural ecosystem to um, thrive. So, mana to, um, <coughs> sorry, mana to, mas ma-healthy pa ang shape sa inyong plants, sa inyong mga tanom if if um, you use fertilizer or loam soils or black soils so, so that um, mas maka makapa healthy pa sila and aside from that the plants will grow uh, faster and um, mas magwapa pa jud ang mga plants if either uh, you added amendments so what is the work of cultivation what is the help of cultivation cultivation so cultivation aims um, that your soil is to help your plants grow better. Aerated soil allows your plants' roots to get enough oxygen. Soil also um, should also be free of weeds and have good uh, drainage so you don't drone your plants or encourage root rots. So can you see can you see the difference if if you wouldn't um, cultivate your soil or sagdaan lang ni mo nga kuan lang, magtanom lang ka nga magtanom without even um, cultivating it, cultivating your soil. So, na ay tendency nga <clears throat> mag-trigger ang imuhang plant sa iyang pag-grow. Na ay tendency nga mapildi ang mapildi uh, power ang imuhang plants kaysa sa imuhang sagot. So, ang magsagbot lang ang makapatay sa imuhang plants. And aside from that, mo grow ang imuhang plant nga payat and then something like kanang unhealthy, walay ox oxygen. So, dili siya healthy. So, <clears throat> so it's better dyan nga mag, mag soil cultivate ta so that ang ato ang um, plants is mag-grow siya og dali and then guapa siya, guapa ang iyahang result. So we should invest, invest it. Okay, o dili na to na buhaton. We if we wouldn't um, cultivate our soil, pangit should ang resulta. So that is the works of soil cultivation. Methods of soil cultivation. We have five methods such as plowing, deep and inversion, shallow and inversion, strip tillage, and direct drilling. So.
First, we have plowing. So, plowing is mao ang pagdaro. So, uh, this viewed as a conventional cultivation, plowing is the deep inversion and burial of surface residues, working the soil at typical depths of 20 to 40 cm. So, yang kalamun is 20 to 40 cm. So, um, plowing is also called as conventional cultivation. So, the primary purpose of plowing is to turn over the uppermost. Uh, soil which is mau ang nagdala sa sustansya sa ibabaw while boring weeds and crops and remain are remains to the case so second we have uh, deep non inversion or lalum nga dili inversion this technique is a lower cost alternative to plow working the soil at 20 to 35 cm so 20 to 35 cm lang yan kalaw mo no? Crop residues are mixed into the topsoil while any potential subsurface compaction can be restructed. So, this technique is a lower cost. So, when we say lower cost, gamera gasto or kaninga, kaninga method is usaka alternatibong bratura. Ang crop residues is gisagol, uh, gisagol sa topsoil or sa ibabaw sa yuta. Third, we have shallow non-inversion. Mabaw nga dili inversion. So, most often used where cereals, pulses, and oil seeds are grown. The rotation, this technique involves shallow surface movement at 5 to 10 cm using this or time. So, 5 to 10 cm lang ihang kalamun sa ang aning kuan kaninga method so this meso, this method is to, to maintain the organic matter so una iyang purpose ang pagmaintain sa organic matter so um, this method also is to preserve uh, the good soil uh, the structure of good soil um, and breaks up uh, any surface crust so fourth we have strip tillage uh, or, or pag okit sa mga strip uh, familiar tanish aninia so rather than cultivating an entire field this technique contemplates the strip in which the crops grow working at depth of 5 to 10 cm so 5 to 10 cm lang gapon yang kalamon so Aning a picnic is pag ugmad sa strip which mean uh, dito ta mag ugmad or magbangag sa mismong tamnanan sa atuang tanom kung asa mo tubo ang tanom uh, dapat ang kalamon ani mga 5 to 10 cm so example ani ka ng mga mais nga kanang magbangag ta dito na to itanom ang kuan anong seeds Um, mga example na siya, parehan ng mga mungos, daghan na siya. Next is, or last is, direct drilling. Uh, is a one-pass establish, establishment system without a prior cultivation pass. So, uh, so when we say uh, direct drilling, uh, it is a natural farming or no tail farming. Wala, dili, wala, no involved nga pag-tail ng wala bang bangag kumbaga pad plat siya so this seed is play this seed is placed without any prior soil cultivation so pero ang ingon ga ina no need nga magtil na parehan ning uh, uban nga like plowing nga kinanlan pa mag kuan sa yuta cultivate kani siya nga methods no need na uh, in the stubble of the previous crop so uh, Kanisha is mainly used for uh, mainly used in dry. Uh, the three stages of soil cultivation, namely the plowing, tilling, and leveling. The first step is plowing. Plowing involves the breaking up of earth clouds and turning it over so that everything on the surface is buried. Plowing also is a fundamental step especially of the soil because if the soil is not plow or if the ground is not plow there is a risk that 
you only cultivate the top soil. Uh, wala ni mo na cultivate ang ang sa ground. Mohang na cultivate is ang ilalom sa yuta. Plowing also enhances the manure techniques consists of planting and burying plants. So, uh, burying plants can uh, maintain the soil fertility because kanang pagsunog sa mga plants or mga sagbut sa imuhang soil uh, nagamaintain siya sa uh, imuhang uh, yuta nga mamaintain ihang pagkataba uh, sa imuhang yuta. Plowing also can be done by using uh, spade if gamayra imuhang area. If, the, if your area is large you can use a uh, tractor. So, a uh, tractor can be used in a large area. Uh, it can also cultivate the soil properly. Iya uh, jung i cultivate ang soil gikan sa ground paingon sa top soil. The second step is tilling or pag bubungkal ng lupa. Tilling is a process that involves pulverizing clouds of earth and mixing them into the soil. So, tilling depends on what crops that you want to plant. For example, uh, magtanom ka o gulay. Pag magtanom ka gulay, kinanglan man dyan nga magbungkal ka yuta para imuhang tamnan. Nya, para po uh, magbungkal ka, para po dali ramag uh, turok ang imuhang tanom. And the last step is leveling. Leveling which presents water stagnation para dili siya uh, dali matubigan or dili magpundo ang tubig nga uh, nagkuan sa imuhang tanong. And then leveling have or it should have height differences. Para dili siya dali matubigan. Ang uh, leveling is, for example, uh, magbuhat kag plat. Kinanglan imuhang plat is naay taas. O dili siya makalevel lang sa yuta jud kay. If imuhang uh, naay nakay plat, nya imuhang tanom na aras sa ibabaw, dili siya dali matubigan. Nya, imuhang, uh, imuhang tanom is uh, dili siya dali madaot kay if uh, imuhang uh, imuhang flat flat is naka level lang sa yuta na siya possibility nga imuhang tanom dali ra siya ma, ma madaot kay wala man siya uh, leveling nga ang tubig uh, mapundo ra siya mo nang dali ma uh, lata imuhang uh, tanom that's why ang leveling is uh, important pud siya sa uh, pagtanom ni mo sa imuhang crops. In addition also, uh, farmers do plowing to their farms. Especially when uh, kanang magsugod na sila o uh, tanom. Ilahan ang ginadaro, ilahang, ilahang yuta para uh, ready to plant na ang tanom. And second, ang telling po is kanang magtanom kagulay uh, nagagamit po kag telling kay imuha man siyang ginabungkal tapos if you have a uh, kanang uh, plat na ma-apply po nimo siya ang leveling muna siya the definition of tailage and its type so what is tailage tailage is the agriculture preparation of soil by mechanical agitation of various types such as digging, steering, and overturning. For example, is um, human-powered tailing methods using hand tools, including shoveling, picking, mattock works, hoeing, and raking. So, tillage is defined as the mechanical manipulation of the soil, characteristics such as soil water, conservation, soil temperature, infiltration, 
and evapotranspiration. So that's the meaning of tailage. Um, by the way, uh, tailage they said is it also practice of modifying the state of soil in order to provide condition before before about to growth. Mm, uh, types of tailage. So type of tailage is usually the type of tailage is divided into two, which is primary tailage and secondary tailage. So, primary tailage is needed to be done to open new belt, and uh, secondary tailage is to restrict water movement from the surface layer. The primary tailage and what implements is used in this type of tailage. So, primary tailage is the type of tailage that creates a soil condition from which a seedbed can be prepared using secondary tailage of secondary tailage implements. So, from the word primary this type of tillage is the first process for preparing the same bed or field. Primary tillage is necessary when existing soil condition, conditions inhibit the effectiveness of second values. So this type of tillage is using implements such, implements such, such as moonbird flow, disc flow, chaser flow, papers, subsoilers, and rotary tillers. And they are the same in purpose, which is to invert the soil, but different characteristics. Moonboard and this flow invert the soil in a flow layer, resulting in the burial of most crop residues. Aggressive time tools such as chisel flow, papers, and subsoilers fracture but do not invert soil and retain residue. Aggressive power. Power take off or PTO power tools such as spaders and rotary tillers can be used for primary tillage. An acceptable seed bed can sometimes be prepared in only one pass. And the most common implements that use here in the Philippines is the moldboard flow and this flow. But in general, these kinds of implements is used to prepare the seed bed for the next type of tillage, which which is secondary tillage. And that's all. Secondary tillage. Thank you. When we say secondary tillage, it is a seed bed preparation may involve pulverizing, leveling, and or residue sizing and boreal. From the word of secondary, this type of tillage was the second process of tillage. The soil pre preparation is traditional fulfilled but can be concentrated in raw zones which produces finer soil and sometimes shifts the rows preparing the seed bed. <coughs> Kapag sinabi nating secondary tillage, ito ay paghahanda ng seed bed. <coughs> Maaring may kasamang pulverizing at leveling. Ang pangalawang pagbubungkal ay makatulong upang mapabuti ang seedbed sa pamamagitan ng pagtaas ng pagkapulbos ng lupa <coughs> at upang ma mapanatili ang kahalumigmigan sa pamamagitan ng pagkasira ng mga damo <coughs> at upang putulin ang mga nalalabi na sa pananim. Ginagawa sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng iba't ibang ori ng mga harus, roller or pulverizer. Dito sa secondary tillage, gumagawa ng mas pinong lupa at kung saan ay hinuhubog ang mga hilera, inihahanda ang seedbed. Implements of secondary tillage. Tillage tools used for seedbed preparation are generally referred to as harrows. Most harrows are draft implements with guns of pens, discs, rolling baskets, or combinations. Powered harrows such as rotavators, rod weeders, and reciprocating harrows 
are also used for seed bed preparation and can accomplish more in one pass than draft tools. <coughs> Sweeps are used to push residues aside for conservation planting. The implements used for secondary tillage are the pig top harrows, this harrow, tent cultivator, rotary tailor, and the inter row cul cultivators. Pig tot harrows are widely used in animal and two wheel tractor powered system for second workings, so wheel paddling and land leveling. Different types of secondary tillage implements like cultivators, harrows, planks, and rollers are used for secondary tillage. Things to consider before tilling. We have five things to consider before tilling. First, prepare the area. Second, mark the area. Third, spread compost. Fourth, work slowly. And last, never go back. First, you must prepare the area. Remove all weeds, stones, tree, and shrub roots and other ways. I recommend using the hoe to loosen up weeds and pickaxe to dislodge stubborn rocks and roots. If you don't clear all that out, you risk damaging the tiller. Second, you must mark the area. Trace clear lines of the soil or use string or even spear lumber to mark the boundaries and rows of your garden bed. Third, spread compost. If you are planning on working compost in the soil, spread it four or five inches deep across the mark area before you begin tilling to make sure it's distributed evenly. So when we begin tilling, it should be spread four or five inches deep across the mark area. And fourth, Work slowly. Maintain a slow and steady pace, especially if you are using a motorized tiller. Don't push the machine ahead too quickly. Give it time to work each row roughly. Fifth and the last things to consider before tilling is never go back. You must tell the row by row like you would if you were mowing grass to avoid overtelling that already processed patches and overtelling where compacts the soil and you were lost and irritated of it. We are here now in the class of tillage. Um, on the positive side, tillage has been part of most agricultural systems throughout the history because tillage can be uh, used to achieve many agronomic objectives. Um, uh, there are seven benefits of tillage. You know, uh, the soil conditioning, the weed and pest suppression, um, residue management, incorporation and mixing, segregation, uh, six is land farming and last is um, stimulation and nutri nutrient release. So let's start first to the um, soil conditioning. So I read the um, definition first. So conditioning, it is a modification of soil structure to favor agronomic processes such as soil seed contact, proliferation, water infiltration, and soil warming. So um, soil conditioning, um, it is the process. No, it is the process of adding materials. No, it is a process of uh, adding materials to the soil surface to change the physical properties. No, and uh, we all know the the types of soil. No, uh, soil is uh, mostly made of clay, sand, and silt. No, and we cannot assure di ba nga ang atong ang atong soil is healthy gud siya no healthy siya we cannot assure nga ang atong tanom mo growth jud siya or mabuhi or kanang mutubo gud siya di ba it's because labi na pud bayay mga poor soil no so as we observe sa mga farmers is para uh, condition no ang ilahang kuan para maka growth og maayo ang ilang tanom is 
nag-add sila ng mga various con soil condition no, such as um, uh, kukupit, no? kanang bunot, no? mga siya. Then, mga um, tais sa mga hayop. No? Kaya muna siya ang ginagamit po no? pang mix sa, sa soil. No? So, um, para po uh, para mo improve ang mga poor soil no? to promote the growth of healthy plants. No? Um, so, mo to siya ang soil conditioning. So, second is the weed and pest suppression. So, according sa iyong definition, weed and pest suppression, it is a direct termination or disruption of weed and pest life cycles. So, um, suppression, it is kanang pagsumpo, no? no? Or para ma-terminate or ma-disrupt. No? Ang weed and pest, uh, weed control is a pest control also, no? Um, which attempts to stop or maridong sa iyang growth of weeds, especially sa mga noxious weeds, no? With the aim of um, uh, reducing their competitions with desire of flora and fauna, no? Uh, when we say uh, flora is defined as um, plants in a particular area, no? Kanang, ano ba? Ang flora is kanang mga sangbot-sangbot bitaw na pwede nga mutabon sa imong plants, no? No? unya ma disturb ang iyahang ang growth sa imong plants no sa imong panong no ka it's because matabunan siya sa mga noxious weeds which is mo siyang flora no? then and ang um, fauna is kuana siya uh, it is a corresponding um, term of life uh, of animals animal life no kanang mga insecticides mga pesticides no makuana sila ma so, ma suppressed no ma terminate na sila so mo na siya ang weed and pest suppression um, next is the uh, residue management so it defines movement orientation of or sizing of residues to minimize the negative effects of crop or cover crop residues and promote beneficial effects so uh, residue management means um, managing the amount and uh, distribution of crop and other plant residues on the soil surface and uh, living crop and other plant residues on the soil surface can protect the soil between the harvest of one crop and emergence of a new crop. So, um, as I watch a YouTube video, YouTube video about uh, residue management, no, there is an equipment to be utilized and I think a tracking equipment na yung gigamit, no, para pag-harvest sa crop and emergence of a new crop. So, next ta, which is the incorporation and mixing. Um, it is a placement or a distribution of substances such as fertilizers, manures, seeds, and residues, sometimes from a less of a favorable location to a more favorable spatial distribution. So, incorporation and mixing. Um, it is the process of mixing all the all the substances no including ang mga fertilizers no um such as ang katong mga kuan ba katong mga tai sa mga hayop no the kukupit no isago siya dito as a soil including the seeds and residues no isago sa gold to siya tanan i-mix to siya then um ang uban sab uh, like sa farmer ang uban sab is kanang um nagbutang sila fertil uh, fertilizer daan sa kanang ano at the same, sa fertilizer, like kanang suka. No, ang suka, pwede, siya, pwede po siya may fertilizer. And asin, no, ibutang siya sa punuan sa any plant. No, muna siya. Or pwede po siya, or pwede po siya i-sagol. Isa, i-mix tanan. No, at the same, kamag plant na yun. So, muna siya. So, proceed ta sa fifth cross of tillage, which is segregation. Um, segregation, it is a consolidation of rocks, rock clumps, soil crumb sizes, and so forth. So, um, so um, segregation is more regular siya ka ng waste disposal or waste segregation. No? Kaya lang separate ni mo ang malata, ang gilin malata, ang recyclable, na recyclable. No, muna siya. Kung sa soil segregation naman, is ilahin mo siya ang mga rocky, ang mga bata, batoon, yung mga sandy, um, rock clumps, kanang mga um, ugat, no? kanang mga ugat dito, isiparitin mo na siya, mga soil crumbs, sizes, yung mga kadakun, no? sa kuan, di ba? Nabi mga types of uh, soil, no? isiparit na mo siya, kung sa pa'y angay nga isigregate mo, ilain-lain mo siya, so that is segregation. 
So next is the uh, sixth process of tillage, no, which is the land forming. Um, land forming, no, it is a change in the shape of the soil surface. Uh, the simplest uh, variant is probably uh, revealing, uh, raging, roughening, and furrowing. No, uh, are also examples. No, like uh, naka naka observe mo or nakabantay mo nga kung maghimot ka garden no di ba naka plot no naka by plot no depende kung unsay gusto nato i-form sa atong garden no like kanang maghimot ka garden is kanang nahambon siya hambon nakatapok sa tunga ang mga ang mga soil then sa kilid kilid is na siya kanal no kanal para daluyan na siya sa tubig no oh that is leveling no then roughening no kung sa pa, mga furrowing, kanang sa akong nakitaan sa YouTube, ang roughening is, uh, na siya'y uh, tracking equipments na gagamit. No? Nung mo siya napuha mo siya by box, no? by box din, kung hindi mo siya, uh, kibali mo rag, uh, murag nakabay form siya, or naka-organized ang imong seeds. No? Dito mo, sa this form is diyan, nakabutang ang seeds, then, uh, other form naman is, dito po ng seeds. So, that is land forming. No? Medyo sa butabon naman, no, kung sa land forming. And lastly, is the stimulation of nutrient release. No? It defined, achieved by aeration and mixing. And um, note, uh, this can be this benefit uh, when not synchronized crop uptake. So, all that I mentioned earlier is the benefits of tillage. So, when we say conservation tillage, it is talk about a careful procedure of pagbubungkal ng, ma ng lupa when we're going to build a garden or a farm. Conservation tillage is an agricultural management approach that aims to minimize the frequency or intensity tillage op operations in an effort to promote certain econo economic and environmental benefits. So, dito na may includes ang pag-decrease sa carbon dioxide and uh, garden gas emotion, emissions. Less reliance on farm machinery and equipment. And an overall reduction in fuel and labor costs. In addition, conservation tillage methods have been shown to improve soil health and reduce runoff. And limit the extent of Russian. With a range of potential environmental and economic benefits, a well-developed uh, and properly integrated conservation tillage practice can contribute toward the sustainability of an agricultural system. Although there are a range of benefits conservation tillage techniques, there is a potential for improper implementations or of not doing the right process of tillage or of not doing the right thing. So that's the thing na if hindi natin susundin ang um, process ng conservation tillage, it might be um, it might be failure ang ating um, uh, garden or ang ating farm and in that way um, ang ating mga um, plants na itatanim sa ating farm or sa ating gardens may also be failed for their growth and the way uh, the way they grow hindi, hindi sila healthy and if we also wanted to avoid insect, rodent and pathogen pest problems we should um, perform or we should do the conservation tillage because that's it's um that is one of that is also one of the advantage of performing or doing the process of conservation tillage to be protected ang ato ang mga plants dito sa mga insects nga um possible jud siya nga mo about sa ato ang mga gardens and farms and one more thing conservation tillage also um reduces the use of chemicals in our farm. So, it might be nga dili na tamagamit o kanang mga chemicals to kill insects kay um, proper man ang ato ang gibuhat and and safety po siya from the insects. And healthy po siya ang result sa ato ang mga plants. 
if they grow.